Hi guys, so recently I redid how I have my books organized on my shelves, so I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you what I did, what I changed, give you a look at the books that I have in general, and also just basically a little bit of a bookshelf tour. Giving you in general a bit of an overview of them initially, the first thing that I want to mention is the fact that I have some books facing out. This might change in the future, but for right now, I'm having fun with it. I also think it was more space efficient. I was able to put a lot of other books behind the ones that are facing forward, and I had fun basically displaying the ones that either I like the covers of, I love the books themselves a lot, or I, uh, I like the colors of them. When I do record my videos in this particular room, I tend to be sitting and therefore the ones that you see behind me are the ones that are more in the middle area. So I really wanted to make sure that the majority of the books that would be visible to everyone watching on a regular basis are books that I really enjoy because I do know that because I also like watching booktube that a lot of times you check out the books behind the person to get an idea of their taste and I want people to be able to know what my favorites are. So we're actually going to start there. We're going to start with this middle section of books. These are some of my absolute favorites. Almost every single book in this area is read, especially within those first two shelves. And by those first two shelves, what I mean is literally the entirety of the bookshelves starting on this far left with my Brandon Sanderson shelf. The only thing on the shelf that is not by Brandon Sanderson is the book that's displayed, which would be The Kingdom of Back by Marie Lu. There was just something about the color scheme of this particular book that I just thought complemented the Sanderson shelf. I do have other Sanderson books on other bookshelves simply because I couldn't fit them all here, but we'll get to those ones later. Just below the Sanderson shelf would be another one that has some of my favorites, Final Fantasy. I have not read through all of these, but I have them. I love them. They were gifts. Final Fantasy is a huge deal from my childhood. I have so much nostalgia and I just love those games in general. And so these books were gifts. I adore them. But we also have Full Metal, one of my favorites, Witcher, one of my favorites, and then The Faithful and the Fallen. I have not read the entirety of the trilogy, but I'm reading the first one right now. I thought it looked nice on this shelf. We've got Roy Mustang, front and center. I love Roy Mustang. Who wouldn't? But either way, this I think having it face out is going to allow for so much more space in the future for when I get more of these full metal, full metal alchemist editions. Just to the right of that, we get into what is kind of like the special edition shelf. We have this beautiful edition of Strange the Dreamer, and then we also have these special editions of The Final Empire, and I'm realizing right now it's out of order. I'll fix that. But then we also have these special editions of the First Law Trilogy that somebody gifted me, which was a really amazing, generous gift. We also have some of my other favorites that I really like. Burial Rites, I adore. I really enjoyed Sorcery of Thorns and Enchantment of Ravens. I think they're solid, good, love story, YA fiction, either a good time. The only one on the shelf I haven't read would be The Nightingale, but I plan to read that very soon. Just above that, we have some more Sanderson, and then we have my book, Peace and Turmoil, and then some of the Joe Abercrombie books. These are not the fancy special editions, I really enjoyed the second book, that's why I have that one displayed, but I have the rest of the trilogy behind it. But either way, this shelf, not too much to say about it. It's got my book, it's got the UK Sanderson books, and then it's got some more First Law. Moving over to the right of that one, this shelf has some books where I have read Queens of Innis Lear, really enjoyed this story. I've read the first book in the Queen of Bo uh, it's technically Queens of Renthia, but the first one is Queen of Blood. I've read that one. I've read the first book in Queen of the Tearling, so it's got all the Queen books. Again, I realized it was uh, out of order, so gonna go fix that. But the Red Queen series, I have read the first two of, do not really remember them, but feel like I should go back and reread those first two and then finish the series before I potentially take those in. And then Chronicles of the Black Company, I have not started yet, but it's kind of high priority for me as far as my TBR goes. So this one is kind of like the queen shelf and then also a random grimdark book. The shelf just below that, similar to the Sanderson shelf, this is kind of like a V.E. Schwab shelf, but I have other books of hers mixed in throughout the shelves, and also these are primarily books I have read and enjoyed. Senlin Ascends is one that I plan to read very, very soon. Haven't gotten around to reading the entirety of it quite yet, but most of these read and enjoyed. 
One thing I wanted to point out about these middle shelves is you will see a pattern. With the white books, you have white, diagonal, white, diagonal, down, white. And I also have one book that's facing out on either side on the edges. And then the one that's in the center, I have two books facing out. Below that, we have darker colors. We have one colored book dead center and then diagonal out from there, you have more colored books. And the ones that are facing out are just a little bit more in than the books that are facing out just below them. This was all just basically because I thought for consistency's sake, it would be nice to have this continuous pattern with these shelves. I know, of course, this isn't going to be to everybody's liking to even have books facing out, but when you are watching videos, I liked the idea that there's some kind of pattern, even though I know you're not seeing the entirety of the shelves anyway. I just thought it looked crisper to do it that way than to have randomly faced out books or the color scheme to be a little bit more random as well. I liked the consistency element here. From there, we'll go down to the bottom shelves, and these have primarily more of the young adult fantasy books that I really, really like with a few other from other genres mixed in because I do primarily read fantasy. I do have one shelf in here that is basically my husband's because he has some really tall comics that don't really fit in the place where he has some of his books. So that's why we've got those here. But just to give you a view of a lot of the young adult books I have, this is almost like a Lee Bardugo shelf with some other things mixed in. Even if I haven't read everything by an author, so for example, I haven't read the Wonder Woman book by Lee Bardugo, I still tried to keep it on the same shelf as much as possible. There are a few ex exceptions that you'll see throughout the bookshelves where that happens, but for the most part, Lee Bardugo shelf with a few other things mixed in. And then we go over to the shelf to the right of that, where we have some other kind of random books. We got historical fiction I really like. We've got some more young adult fiction I really like. And a couple of others that are, again, high priority TBR books that I want to get around to as soon as possible. Bottom, very far right, we have the Neil Shusterman, perfect example of an author where I've read some of his works and not others. I also haven't finished the And I Darken series by Kirsten White. I plan to hopefully this year, the Aragon series is one that was gifted to me. So I've got a few in that corner that I definitely need to get around to and I need to finish a series or I need to finish other works by the author. Now heading back over to the far left, we have more of my favorite young adult books and a lot of the similar patterns you're gonna see. So for example, the Seven Realm series, I've read all of that, but I haven't read the other Shattered Realm series that she's written. So you're gonna see that there. I have some Julie Kagawa, which I loved but The Iron King I haven't read by that same author. So you're gonna see a lot of the same patterns. Primarily, these are books that I have read and very much enjoyed. And then maybe I have some other books by these authors that I just haven't had the chance to get around to, but I wanted to keep them together. Also, you're gonna notice, same as before with the middle section of the bookshelves, I did a similar thing where I had a book, oh, Fireborn shout out really quick, cause it's great. But anyway, I have some books facing forward. And when you see the entirety of the shelves, you'll see that there's always a pattern on either side, the left and then the one on the far right. You're gonna have the same exact pattern as far as the location of the book that's facing out. You're gonna have similar colors facing out on similar shelves, that sort of thing. But you can kind of see it here. Once again, where that Strange the Dreamer is, above it you have two facing out, below it there were two facing out that sort of thing. But getting over to the very top of the shelves now, this is an area where I haven't necessarily had the chance to read a lot of these books. Some of them I have, for example, the Red Rising series, you see Morning Star sticking out, popping out right there. We have some of my foreign editions, example, the Polish editions of Mistborn, but for the most part, you're gonna see quite a few books turned around in this area. And those are some of my book of the month books that I haven't had the chance to read yet. So what I did was I turned them around so that every now and then when I am making a TBR, I can have kind of a surprise pick. I can grab one of the book of the month books from my shelf that's turned around. It'll be a surprise. I won't know which one it is. And I think that's just a really fun way to add a little flavor to the TBR. On the topic of turning books around, the other room where I have this piece of furniture that I've put books in, I have decided to turn these books around. These are books that I have acquired generally from my local used bookstore with store credit and things of that sort. I was gifted or I was working with a book box and they wanted to send me one and I haven't had the chance to read one of the books that came with the box, that sort of thing. So what I've done is I've turned all these books around and then the same concept. Every now and then 
I'll pull a book off the shelf or my husband will pull a book off the shelf and it'll be a fun surprise for the TBR. Now on to the TBR cart. And this is formally called Mr. Tabur. By the way, I had to get a clip. This is a screenshot from the game Ghost of Tsushima. If you haven't played it, it's freaking awesome. But getting to the TBR cart, AKA Mr. Tabur that my husband named, this is, again, you've heard me use the phrase high priority books that are books that I don't have on my immediate TBR this month or even maybe next month, but these are books that I want to get around to sooner rather than later. Hopefully by the beginning of next year, something along those lines, if 2020 lasts, I don't know, things are going crazy. But I absolutely love this little TBR cart. I do have a few books on here that I have read and there may be middle grade books. I thought they would fit better here because they're so small. And then I have a few books on here that are here because my dog chewed on them and they're a little damaged. The spines are kind of messed up. And so I put them over here to keep them away from the dog so she is not enticed to damage them further. That is it though for a little bookshelf tour and then some extra with the TBR cart and then the other kind of surprise shelf. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed getting to see this little rearrangement again. I could very much dislike this in, I don't know, a week and then change everything again. Who knows? But thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed getting to see this and I'll see you guys later. Bye.